Hi, my name is Greg Barth, and I am a systems engineer for Innerdyne BMI. Just wanted to take a couple minutes today to walk through an error message that we were battling with just recently for IMIS 15. The issue is error during logon. The IMIS website may not be functioning properly. And this was an after an upgrade. We reinstalled the new, the new version of the client on some Windows 7 machines and Windows XP machines. The Windows XP machines were fine. They could log in just as normal, but the Windows 7 machines were not able to and were giving this error message. We ended up working with ASI and there was a long list of things to go through since that's a somewhat generic message and this was the case here. So you can see that we were fighting it and pulling our hair out just a little bit and it was quite frustrating when you're working on an issue and and you cannot find the resolution right away so that's why I'm here I want to help you and prevent you from pulling your hair out we don't want that the error message was like I said error during logon the IMS website may not be functioning properly and what we ended up finding out was in IIS there's a setting under HTTP, HTTP headers and there this the actual value is this here, IE emulate IE8 needs to be added in this compatibility custom header field. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you that. It's over here on the server. If I look at the virtual directory, go to properties and I move that up. HTTP headers and this is the culprit that I was referring to. These Both of these values need to be filled in and exactly how they are showing here. I think in this case, we maybe part of it was missing or something was incorrect in the setting. Maybe it was completely missing, but I think it was just this was there and I don't think that was there. And it was enough to cause the problem with the Windows 7 machines. And it was also causing more of a global problem with IQA reports. When you went into the report area, the window, the best way to define it really was it was just all garbled up and it didn't look like the normal layout. But once we changed this on the site and saved those settings, everything corrected itself. So it's an easy fix. Like once you know the answer, the, <laughs> the resolution is easy. But that's what it was in this case. And once again, I'll just show you what that error message was. This was the error message. Error during logon. The IMIS website may not be functioning properly. And it was related to the setting in IIS. That's all it was after all that uh, troubleshooting. So hopefully if you run into this, you won't have to do the, the same amount of um, research and looking through that in trial and error to see how you can find the resolution. Here's our website. If you have any questions or if you want to partner with us in any way, I will bring that up here. And if you have any questions, we're at innerdynebmi.com.